You're watching Fred the Incredible on YouTube. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hi guys, Fred the Incredible here, and welcome back to another episode of Read and Review. Okay, today I'd like to do a review on a book that I've read long before I started my Goodreads account. It's the first book and only book that I've ever read that was written by John Grisham, and that book is called Skipping Christmas. Now, before I begin in um, the review of this particular book, let's open up day number 12 on the Mandalorian Advent Calendar and see what it's picture we get. If I can the flap open. Ah, there. Ah. What do you know? It's a it's the um it's another picture of Grogu in its cradle with Christmas lights wrapped on around it. Okay. So before I begin with this review, I want you all to please do me a huge favor and smash that like button and hit that subscribe button as well so that you can become part of the incredible community. Also, please be sure to ring the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, without any further ado, let's get this review started. So, for those of you who have read Skipping Christmas before, then you may remember it being made, being made into the movie Christmas with the Cranks back in 2004. Skipping Christmas centers on a couple whose names are Luther and Nora Crank, who plan on skipping Christmas by taking a cruise after their daughter Blair Crank flies away to the jungles of Peru on a mission with the Peace Corps. Now, I know it's a foolish idea to be skipping Christmas, but it was Luther Crank's idea in the first place to be spending his money on himself and Nora during the cruise to the Bahamas. Soon the Crank's neighbors learn that Luther and Nora plan on skipping Christmas, and they decide to spread some Christmas cheer into their lives. But on the bright side though, Nora Crank still acts generous by serving food to the homeless and reading to sick kids in the children's hospital despite Luther's Christmas boycott. Even though the Cranks were trying to save their money for the cruise, they wind up getting a phone call from their daughter Blair on Christmas Eve, and find out that she and her soon-to-be fiancé, Enrique, are coming home for Christmas. So, after realizing that their daughter and future son-in-law are coming home for Christmas, they wind up not going on the cruise and scramble to get their house ready for Christmas at the last minute. Even though their relatives weren't able to join them for Christmas, they had to start inviting their neighbors. When their neighbors see Luther trying to put his rooftop Frosty up on his own, and Frosty breaks into a million little pieces when Luther falls off the roof, they, they decide to help the Cranks set up their house for Blair's holiday homecoming. And on that note, the neighbors have the cops escort Blair and Enrique home. By the time Blair and Enrique come home to the Crank's house, Luther is still moping because he couldn't go on his precious little cruise, like I mentioned, which was to the Bahamas. Upon having a change of heart by the end of the story, however, Luther then decides to give the cruise vacation package to Walt and Bev Scheel, who live right across the street from the Cranks. Luther decides to give the entire package to the Shields because they haven't seen a whole lot of their family in a while. Not even their oldest son, Benny, who hasn't even been home for the holidays in years. When Luther gives the entire cruise package to the Shields, he then comes to realize that skipping Christmas is such a stupid idea. If I had to give skipping Christmas a star rating, I would give it 5 stars out of 5 mainly because I found a lot of, of major similarities between the, this book and Christmas with the Cranks. I wouldn't really want to skip Christmas because why would I want to avoid visiting my family members on the holidays and being thankful for them and my friends? Huh? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on this video. Um, 
and also let me know down in the comments section down below what your thoughts are on this book. If you guys haven't already, please be sure to follow me on my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Goodreads. All of those will be down in the description down below. But until my next video, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace! Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys want to, here are some other videos for you to check out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on a single video. Thank you guys! <laughs>